Hi guys, okay, so the next proof by induction I'm going to do is differentiation. So these are actually my favorite ones, probably because I like calculus, but I think these, the, the, these, this makes a lot of sense, what it does to me anyway. So we're given, this is actually a past paper question, we're given some function f of x, um, and it says the nth derivative is f n of x, so the nth derivative, and it says show that, prove by mathematical induction, it look, it, 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 there's no rule that it has to say prove by mathematical induction, but it, they almost always do say prove by mathematical induction, so that the nth derivative is given by this, so that means if I was to differentiate this thing um, 10 times, the derivative would be 2 to the power of 10 times x plus 10 times 2 to the power of 9 all times e to the 2x, um, which is interesting in itself, but we need to kind of prove that. So let's go through our routine. routine. So our proposition, proposition is that the nth derivative, nth derivative is equal to 2 to the power of n x plus n times 2 to the power of n minus 1 all times e to the power of 2x. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna show this. Step one. Step one. Prove true for n equals one. Okay. Now to prove true for n equals one, we need to get so f of x is equal to um f of x is equal to uh, x e to the 2x. Now to get f dash of x, so to get f1, or the, the first derivative of x, well, here we just need to use a product rule. So f dash of x is equal to, I'm going to do this quickly, guys, but don't you do this. Do it to the side, but I'm going to do it in my head. u times dv dx, so u times dv dx, the derivative of this is 2e to the 2x, so that's u times dv dx, plus v times du dx, which is e to the 2x. And this, this is equal to um, e to the 2x times 2x plus 1. So this is the first derivative. Um, this is the first derivative, and then if we get, um, let me write here from proposition, from pro proposition, f1 of x, so this is, this is using their thing here, f1 of x, so the first derivative of x is equal to 2 to the power of 1x plus 1 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 times, let me close this bracket, and I just want to bring this over so I have space, times e to the 2x, which is 2x plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, this is all in a bracket, e to the 2x, and look, this, when I sub in one there, I do get the first derivative. So I'm going to say, therefore, therefore, true for n equals one. Step two. Step two. Assume, so again, this is always the same. Assume true for n equals k. So the kth derivative, if you like, the kth derivative of k of x is equal to 2 to the power of k x plus k times 2 to the power of k minus 1 times e to the power of 2x. So the kth derivative is this. We've assumed that. Next step. Step 3. Prove, prove true for n equals k plus 1. Right, 
this t again I want to say what are we trying to show so trying why do I keep writing trying wrong trying to prove that f of k plus 1 so the k plus 1th derivative I can say that is equal to so this time I'm going to put k plus 1 in here instead of k so it's 2 to the power of k plus 1 2 to the power of k plus 1 x plus k plus 1 times 2 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1 which is 2 to the power of k close bracket e to the 2x so that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to show so for this step remember for step 3 you always use step 2 you use the step that you have a your assumption assumption step so you you've assumed this so f let's let's write this out again the kth derivative of x is equal to 2k x plus k 2k minus 1 e to the 2x so this is the kth derivative so how do I get if this is the kth derivative how do I get the k plus 1th derivative so we're assuming this is true this is the kth derivative so to get the k plus 1th derivative the next derivative I just need to differentiate this so if I differentiate this I should get that and then I've then I have proven it so this I got from subbing k plus 1 into my proposition I sub sub it in here instead of n and this one I'm going to get what I have got from well this I've got from the assumption but when I differentiate this I should get this and if I get it I've proven it okay so let's do it I'm going to say the the um, k plus one-th derivative is equal to u times dv dx. All right, this this one I actually I'm going to write it out. I'm going to write it out properly over using the product rule. So u is equal to two to the k x plus k times two to the k minus one, and v is equal to e to the 2x du dx du dx is equal to 2 to the k because this is just a constant 2 to the k and dv dx is equal to 2e to the 2x chain rule so the k plus 1th derivative is u times u times and um, this is u u times dv dx I think I'm actually let's bring this up let's bring this up here and this down here so it's u times dv dx 2e to the 2x plus v times v times du dx 2 to the k now at this point, I'm, I look at this and say, right, what am I actually, what, what am I trying to, what am I trying to show? So there's an e to the 2x outside. So yeah, I'm going to have that. Let's bring that outside. And then, hmm, right, look, I think maybe we can see something, right? So I'll take out my e to the 2x, my e to the 2x. And uh, inside this square bracket, I will put, there's a 2 here, so it's 2 times 2 times 2 to the k x plus k times 2 to the k minus 1 plus 2 to the k so is that clear I've taken out this 2 I've taken it out here this is just this and this 2k is here and the e to the 2x is out there right so maybe um, just make sure you know how I've got from there to there Okay, here now I have my e to the 2x outside let's multiply this out so I have 2 times 2 times 2 to the k x right 2 times 2 to the k that's this is 2 to the 1 if you like 2 
2 to the 1 times 2 to the k is actually 2 to the k plus 1 x. And even better, even better, um, 2 times 2 to the k minus 1 is just going to be 2 to the k because 1 plus k minus 1 is just k. So this becomes k times 2 k times 2 to the k. And then I have this guy here, which is plus 2 to the k. OK, OK, that's a lot of k's. Nearly there. I see this is working out now. Look, I have my e to the 2x. I have my 2 to the k plus 1x. So here's my e to the 2x. Here's my 2k plus 1x. And then here, what factors is, I can take out the 2 to the k, and I'm left with k plus 1 um, times 2 to the k, close bracket. This is what I'm what I was trying to prove. And this is why, again, why I like to write this, I like to write this step here, this step here, because when you have that, you know what you're working towards, you're working towards that you're trying to turn this into this. Um, if you don't write that down, I find it far more difficult. Okay, so I'm done. That's it. But am I am I done? No, I have to write my step four. You have to write step four. Now guess what I'm going to do guys. And obviously, you don't have the luxury of doing this, but I'm going to go to my previous example. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. So I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I don't have to write it out again. It's quite quick. But two, to show you that it's the ex it's literally the exact same thing. I don't need to. Um, I don't need to change it for. Um, I don't need to change it for the different types of of um, proof by induction. It's literally the exact same thing, the exact same statement. True for n equals one. If true for n equals k, then true for n equals k plus one. Um, therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, true for all n is an element of the positive integers. Okay, um, that's differentiation. Um, I need to do divisibility. And actually, there was one other one I think that I didn't mention that I'm going to do, which is inequalities. So see you in those next two lessons.